Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Magic 99 and today I was guided to do a pick a pile reading and this one is what does your divine masculine miss and desire about you so this is for people in separation no contact so we've got three piles so the first pile I'm not sure if that's an angel wing or a leaf uh, we've got a teddy bear pile two cute teddy and pile three, we have the seahorse. So pick your pile and we'll get your messages. So I'm just using oracle cards today. Some of these are my design. So we're just looking at what does your divine masculine miss and desire about his feminine. So pile one, let's have a look. So the overall energy is beauty and the beast. Your person might look different than what you have imagined. Remember to pay attention to how someone makes you feel and what to spark inside of you. What is external does not always reflect what is internal. Look for those hidden treasures. So I feel your masculine compared to you feels he's a bit of a beast. I don't think you see him as a beast at all. I think you see straight into his soul. You really connected at the soul level. These these connections are soul level connections. And you could come from very different backgrounds. You could have different coloured skin. You could have different religious backgrounds. You could come from different finance, you know, family situations. There's, you know, a lot of differences between you. And I think your masculine does feel that there's too many differences. And also I feel he doesn't feel good enough because he's seen himself in the the beast energy and obviously he sees you as a beauty so there could be part of him that feels he doesn't deserve you okay so how does he see his feminine so you could be somebody that likes to keep fit you you're in good shape you exercise he sees that you look after yourself and you take a lot of self-care you're laid back you're very chilled you go with the flow sort of personality and again, he could be very different to that. He could be someone quite stressy, a bit of a control freak, but you just go with the flow. You just chill out. You just relax. And again, I think he admires that about you. You could be very creative. You could paint, draw, write, cook. So he sees your gifts, your talents. He feels you're very creative. And again, he could be creative, but maybe he's not actually tapping into that. Most people are creative, but it's tapping into that creativity. But he sees that you actually do. You go for it. You make things. You create things. And he really admires that about you. You could be very balanced in your energy. So sometimes you could be very feminine. And sometimes you're in that masculine energy. You know, if you're taking charge in your life, moving forward, making those difficult decisions at times... Um, but you're very balanced and I think you can come in and out of those energies when you need to. And when you were with your masculine, he was very masculine energy. So you went more into your feminine energy. So I think you balanced each other out in that way. He sees you as somebody that he would like to choose. We've got choice here, future choice. Um, but he, you could also be a tarot reader. You could be psychic. You could be an empath. He sees that you have these gifts, these talents. Um, maybe he was a bit judgmental. We've got judgment here. Maybe he could have been a bit judgmental about the way you live your life. And again, that difference, he felt that difference between you. He sees things very differently and you're very psychically in tune. But he does see you in his future because we've got future here, future choice. He does see you in his future, okay? And he wonders how much that you can read him because you're very psychic, okay? We've got stillness, purity, quiet. He sees you as somebody, you've got a purity about you. Even though you could be very mature in years, he sees you as someone pure. And you can be very quiet and still at times. Quite introverted, maybe you have this aspect to yourself. And again, he doesn't know how you're able to do that. But you're calm in the stillness. He feels calm in your energy. When he's been in your energy, he feels calm. He feels this stillness with you. And this quiet, this peace and quiet 
that maybe he doesn't get in his own life. He as again your creativity, he sees your creativity, you're you're an original person, you can be spontaneous, you go with the flow as I say, and, and you you're very different to your masculine. But he likes that. He sees how enlightened you are, you know, and you've opened his eyes pay, maybe to many things, to many ways of looking at the world. And he really feels good in your energy, as I say. And he he knows that you see things in a very different way, but you've opened his eyes to seeing things differently. And he does want this renewal with you, okay? We've got renewal. He does want this renewal. He wants to have a fresh start with you in this connection. Yeah, he's getting more clarity now with regard to this connection and his feelings with regard to his divine feminine. He's getting the clarity. He's he's seeing the light, as it were, and his guides and angels are helping him with that, I feel. So what else does he love about you? So he loves your sensuality. You could be a very sensual person. You know, maybe the fabrics you wear, you know, the way you look, your the way you move. It's very sensual to him. He thinks you're a great model in the great well, a great role model in the world. You know, you're a positive person, you're creative, you know, you, you speak highly of people, you're not negative, you know, you always try and see the, the good in people and he likes that about you. He loves how you take care of yourself. We have that at the beginning, you know, you may be someone that really likes to keep fit, you watch what you eat. And he sees you doing that. He sees that you really have that self-love, that self-care for yourself. And you could have been intimate, you know, you may have been lovers. And he thought you were great in bed, very skilled lover. If you've not been intimate, he's imagining that. He's imagining that you would be and, and having those times with you would be amazing. He sees you as somebody courageous. He, he sees you as courageous in the world, in your life. You move forward with courage and conviction and he really respects you for that. And he sees that you're in touch with your emotions, you 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 go into your emotions, you go into your feelings, and again he's he's possibly somebody that doesn't. He's somebody that maybe has blocked his emotions and you're a great teacher for him to show about, you know, feeling your emotions, going with the flow of your emotions. He sees your spiritual maturity, he sees that you are on a quest, on a mission and we've got a couple on the stairs and he doesn't feel that he's at the same level as you, he sees you as way ahead on that staircase but he would like to join you in this spiritual journey I feel. And he had that inner peace when he was in your company as I say, that energy, being with you he felt relaxed, he felt calm. And you are somebody that is easy to be around and he's missing that inner peace that he had with you. And he sees you as a sacred woman. You know, you could be somebody quite mystical. You know, you could be somebody who reads cards, you're empath empathetic. You work with crystals, you know, you could be a shaman. He sees you, you as magical, mystical. Yeah, you had some flirty fun times together and he's missing that. And... He you were open and honest with him, but he possibly wasn't with you and he knows that he should have been. And he just feels this magnetic pull back to your energy all the time whenever he's trying to move forward. And he wants to give this relationship a chance. He does want to give it a chance. So he enjoyed the taste of you. I mean, even if you weren't intimate, kissing you, you know, kissing on you, smelling your hair. He, he misses that intimacy with you. And he has a lot of desire that he wants to express them to you and show you what you mean to him in that way. He has a lot of passion. He's got strong emotions. He's, he's in his feelings. He's feeling swept away of his feelings and he wants to express it to you in a passionate way. Yeah, new romance. These are future energies. So there's definitely a chance for new romance coming in here in this connection. And set new goals. And I always see this as couple goals because there's a couple holding hands. So you could be setting future goals together. So there are your messages, part one. Hello, part two. You chose a teddy. It's cute. So the overall energy is, is constant. Like the evolvement of Earth and all its creations over and over. She was like this for him. Constant, never ending. 
They flow together in a continual movement where one ends, the other begins. And where one begins, the other ends. Constant rebirth in each other and never ending. I feel that he feels you were constant in his life. You were there for him when maybe there weren't many people that were there for him. And he's obviously missing that energy because you were always there for him. Um, more so than any other person maybe in his life. Yeah, you, he saw you as someone very strong-minded, you know, stubborn. You could have been very stubborn. I feel maybe you were both stubborn in that energy. Um, he sees you as somebody very dependable. You were good in a crisis. You could work for the emergency service or, or the NHS or something like that. You know, you're very caring. You were very sexy. You know, you had a lot of self-confidence with your sexuality in the way you dressed. He loved the way you dressed. And again... You had this adventurous side, you like to try new things in life, and he likes that about you as well. Maybe you were more daring than your masculine. When he met you, it was a total surprise, a revelation. Um, he'd never met anybody like you before. And, you know, if you're in that twin flame soulmate connection, you triggered a lot in each other. And it was a total surprise, and it, it took him by surprise uh, meeting you, okay? He saw you as somebody uplifting, somebody that elevated other people, somebody that could help empower other people. And he felt really uplifted when he was in your energy. And of course, he's missing that about you being in that uplifting, positive energy that you exude. And he sees you as somebody that has a lot of personal freedom. You're unrestrained. You live your life how you want to on the outskirts of society maybe you're somebody very free and he's somebody very different maybe stuck in a lot of laws and regulations within his own life they could be self-imposed he sees you as inspirational you know he sees you as somebody very inspirational in the world you you've inspired him in so many ways and you probably inspire a lot of people and he sees you as somebody with a lot of focus in your life. You know, you have goals, you have things you want to achieve and things you want to manifest. And he sees that you focus on these goals and you have the faith in these goals and you just run with it. But he has hope here. He has hope that there can be a reconnection, a restart in this connection. He's feeling hopeful at this moment about this connection. So how else does he see you? He thinks you're truly beautiful inside and out. So obviously initial attraction to you, he saw you as somebody very beautiful. And when he got to know you, he realised that you have such a beautiful soul. And you care about animals and you could share that love of animals. You both could care and love about animals. And he really sees that you're very passionate about that. And he loves the way you see the world. You know, you may see the world in a very different way to him. And you've opened his eyes to seeing the world in a different way, you know, seeing it differently, the people on it differently. So you've opened his eyes to that. And the softness of your skin, you know, you may have been intimate with this person uh, or just kissing you, touching you, holding you. He loved your skin. He thought it was beautiful. So he's really missing that. He sees you as somebody very lighthearted, even though you may have been through a lot in your life. You always try and find the humour in it. You always try and find something fun, something funny to lift the mood, to be lighthearted. You know, he may have come to you when he's been very down and low and you've you've always lifted his mood and made him feel better for being in your company. And he loves that about you, that lightheartedness energy that you have. And he felt this connection with you. We've got We Are One. He did feel this connection to you. Even if he's not told you this, he did feel this connection, this soul connection with you. Okay. And he knows that you could be the one. Okay. Because, as I say, he did feel this connection, even though he's denied it. And even in this period of separation, time apart, he is really feeling this connection with you. He's still feeling connected to you. And this is divinely guided. We've got the angels here, okay? And he may be aware of that. We've got children here. Your love, love is affected by children. The message I got was that maybe when you were together, you were in a childish mood. You know, you got each other in that fun, childish, playful energy. And you made each other laugh. And you had that childlike fun together. 
but it could also mean that either one of you or both of you have already got children with another partner which is obviously affecting this connection as well because that's the priority but i do think a lot of it was that childlike fun energy that you brought out in each other and there was so much attraction here as i say he found you beautiful on the inside and out and he really was very attracted and i think it was mutual you know this is very strong attraction between you and he loved the way that you go with the flow you know you don't try and rush anything or anyone you just very go with the flow in your life and he wants you to be his he wants to bring you flowers and and tell you this that he wants you to be his only he doesn't want you to have anyone else and he's missing that intimacy that you may have shared with him on a mental, sexual, spiritual, emotional level, he wants more of this intimacy with you. Yeah, he wants to have you back in his arms. He wants to hold you and tell you how much you, you mean to him. He wants to hold you, kiss you, look in your eyes and really share his feelings. You could have been friends, you know, you could have been friends or started getting to know each other as friends. But he wants more than that. He wants more than friendship. He wants to be romantic with you. He wants to treat you as somebody special. And he have those romantic times together. And he wants to build a firm foundation with you. And allow this connection to grow. To, to, grow, to really build something solid together. Is what he's wanting. So I looked at future energy. So we've got sudden changes coming in. And feel the fear and do it anyway. So I feel that your masculine could be fearful about coming forward. But I feel that he will do, and it could be sudden because of the messages that we got here. So, you know, don't be surprised if you hear from this person and they come forward. Okay, part two, there are your messages. Hello, part three, we have the seahorse. I love seahorses. I can pick it up. So let's get your overall message. So we have faith. You are being called to hold faith within your soul right now. Move forward, knowing that sometimes we have to take a leap, even if we cannot see the outcome. Sometimes our soul calls us to move, simply to teach us we can, to be driven and guided by inner faith that regardless of the outcome, there is something to learn through the experience. So I feel your masculine is really calling for you to have faith at this time, to have faith in him, to have faith in the divine, in this connection. And just keep moving forward in your life. You know, don't wait for anybody. Just keep moving forward and have faith in your heart that things will resolve in, in the right way for you. So how does he see his feminine? So you could be a teacher, maybe of, of young children, or you could just be somebody that passes on knowledge and skills. Maybe you teach at uh, adult classes or something like that. But he sees you as somebody that, you know, is very good at passing on knowledge. He sees you as someone very sensual, you know, in touch with your sensuality. You may dress in a certain way, wear certain fabrics, the way your hair is, the way your makeup is, you know, your scent of you. He remembers that so clearly. He sees you as somebody independent. He sees you as somebody that doesn't actually need anybody. You choose to be alone when you want to be alone. And if you want a relationship, you choose that. He sees you as not somebody that's needy. In other words, you're not a needy person. And you could be somebody who's a seeker, you know, you're, you're looking for answers, you're looking for direction in your life. You know, you may be, I don't know, searching for the answer, the meaning to everything. Someone on a spiritual quest. You could be somebody that's very good at multitasking. I think most women are, actually. Um, you're juggling, you could have home, you could have children already work school you know there's a lot going on in your, your life and and maybe the masculine felt he there wasn't room for him because you had a lot going on in your life at that time but he did admire that about you so he sees you as a guide in his life you know and when he met you he felt this renewal renewal of something some hope or energy within him and you've helped him along a new path in his life maybe he was heading in a really bad direction and I feel meeting you has helped him to follow a new path to have that feeling of hope and renewal in his life he sees you maybe as somebody very patient you know you're very patient with people but you have a lot of determination 
we've got the weight and energy here and we've got the faith card so he may feel that you are waiting for him or hoping you're waiting for him but don't wait for anybody you know just keep moving forward in your life and have patience with yourself and have that determination and he does see you in that energy He sees you as somebody very confident in your life, okay? Um, you're a deep thinker, maybe. And, you know, you think about things very deeply before you take action. But it's about having that confidence to move forward, as, as the cards are saying. You know, do not wait for anybody. Move forward in your life with confidence. And he sees you as someone very confident. He sees the spirit of you. You have a, a really beautiful spirit, you know, a feisty spirit, a fighting spirit, um, somebody very spiritual as well. And being in your company, he had a lot of pleasure in your company. And he sees you as somebody that enjoys pleasure in your life, you know, whether that be sensual pleasure, you know, food, music, you know, your creative projects. Whatever you do, you find pleasure in life. You find the pleasure. And he really admires that aspect of you. He felt the intensity of this connection. It felt very intense for him. And that could be part of the reason he pulled away. It was very intense. And maybe he didn't feel quite ready. He felt overwhelmed by the intensity of that. And he feels this intense connection with you. So what else does he love about you? So he loves your curves, you know, the shape of your body. He really does love that. Maybe he likes to grab on those curves. And maybe you've given him a massage or um, he's imagined you giving him a massage. You know, he, you know, this sensuality of you. He knows that you'd be good at giving this massage. Um, maybe he's fantasizing about you giving him a massage. But he loves everything about you. You know, obviously nobody is perfect. But you are everything he wants in a woman, basically. So you can't say any more than that, really, can you? And he desires you. You know, you turn him on very much. As I say, it's very intense, very sensual connection. He's feeling this connection. And again, his desires could have really overwhelmed him. He knows that you see beneath the surface of him. You know, he could have been come across as somebody very... Um, materialistic somebody just interested in the 3d but he he knows that you see below the surface you you connected at the soul level you see the true essence of who he is and you were very nurturing with him you gave him a lot of comfort a lot of nurturing very loving energy very sensual energy in your company and you gave him a lot of comfort, but he was overwhelmed by the intensity of his feelings. Yeah, he loved the shape of you. We've got the body again. He loved your shapes, your curves, the touch of your skin, you know, the shape of your hair, your eyes, everything about you. And he felt this flame with you. He felt this soul connection. Again, whether he's admitted to this or not, he felt this soul connection, this eternal flame that you share. And he has love in his heart for you here. And again, he may not have even admitted that to himself. But there is love here. There is a love connection here. And he's feeling the love. Okay, he may be denying it to himself, but he is feeling it. He sees you as such a temptation, as I say. He has his desires, his intensity of feelings for you. And it felt a very passionate connection. You know, you may have shared a lot of passion, kisses and, and love making. But again, your two hearts are beaten as one. You are connected at the heart and the soul space here. And he loved talking with you, going out for meals. And he's missing talking to you. And he does want to talk about, you know, the situation. He does want to talk it out. So, yeah, he felt that spark, that attraction. He felt that immediately. And that central pleasure with, dirt, with you, dirty talk in the bedroom... You know, if the feelings overwhelmed him, he had such intense feelings. And he felt uninhibited with you. He felt in sync and in tune with you, 
but obviously he ran from these feelings, from this intensity. So ask to look at some future energies. So we've got a message on the way or a visitor. So expect to hear from this person, okay, or he may even turn up. And you're healing the past. I feel you're going to heal the past energy between you. And we've got the masculine energies turn up here. So I feel that you and your masculine are going to heal the energies between you. And there is a, ch a chance here for a start, a restart, a rebirth of this connection in a different way. So there are your messages, part three. Sending you love and blessings. Bye for now.